your homeschooling mom to four and chaos coordinator since 2009. I have been taking care of babies and reading books to babies for as long as I can remember. My favorite book series growing up was the Babysitter's Club. It got to the point <laughs> when I was a teacher, I was teaching in the hometown where I grew up and there was one year I looked in the classroom and I was like, oh, I've changed at least 10 of your diapers before. I didn't say that out loud because that would have embarrassed them, but that's how much I didn't realize how much I had babysat until then. If there's one thing I have learned early on is books are the best thing you can do for your babies, even from so little tiny, tiny on. And I know it's hard because you feel like they're not listening to you, but really even research has shown 15 minutes a day from birth on. It can seem a little daunting for parents. You don't think they're listening. Here I have some recommendations these are our go-tos. They are so well loved. A lot of them don't even have the spines anymore. I have had these since my sisters were little. So real quick, my brother and I were two years apart. And then eight years later, my sister came along. And then my baby sister was a lovely surprise when I was 19. My sisters were my babies. And if there's one thing that my parents taught me is how to read a book properly to children. I think there is a correct way. We are obsessed with books here. We have a full-blown library in our basement. I'm a minimalist in every other part of my life except for books. Books, books, books. We have so many. I am a true believer in reading books is the best education you can really honestly give your kids. Here are some recommendations from ages zero to six months. I'm not going to hit on the classics, but I'm going to show you the ones that you may not have heard of before or favorites in our family and why they're favorites. I'm going to show you how I read them because I really think it's important how to read them. When they're little, freshly out of the womb, the big thing you want to look for is books that have actual pictures of faces because that's what babies see. That's what they interact with. You don't want something like this. If you actually want to see the baby engaging with the book and have them looking at the book, you need to have something like this. What it says on it doesn't really matter at this age, zero to six months. I prefer to go through ones that actually teach something, I guess. So we have these uh, signing series. As you can see, there's no spine. These have been so well loved. These went through my First sister, my second sister, all four of my kids now, and anybody I have babysat in between. And I babysat a lot. The first series that we particularly like, Baby Signs. These are not full on ASL, they are ad adaptations. Uh, and so you can use regular ASL, you can use, do what is in here. But essentially when you read it, uh, we point out baby, dog. <sighs> when they're zero to six months, all they're gonna look at is the baby face. Dog, cat. There's only one word per page. They're not gonna follow a storyline. The next one, Anne Gettys. She was really popular in the 90s. Again, you have the faces here and it works on colors. Uh, this one's literally called Baby Faces. This is a series by Margaret Miller and there's a whole bunch. There's colors, there's what's on my head. When they're younger, I read these to them and we just say the words and I'll point to puppy dog. When they get a little older, you can start six months to a year. When you read this, you can say, look, eyes, fire hat eyes and you point to their eyes as you're reading it. it makes it a little more interactive and then when they get even a little older you can start pointing out the colors every page has something different so you can adapt the book as they get older and that's why it makes it fun over and over again uh, our two-year-old now will pull these out and he can actually read them to himself he knows what they say and he'll point out the eyes and the nose it makes the book more interactive but when they're zero to six months these are still perfect because pictures of baby faces. Something else you can do is you can create your own of everybody in your family. Everybody can take a picture and then you can create those on all the websites, uh, Shutterfly, Walgreens even. You can just get a simple flip book with pictures in it and you can show it to the baby and do the names of everybody in your family. This one's fun, especially when they start grabbing and eating things. Babies want paper. They love to eat paper. These are newer. They're called Indestructibles. Editor Kim here. I forgot to mention these are available at Barnes & Noble. And they are indestructible. You, you, you cannot rip it. And they crumple. You can wash them. They're meant to be eaten by children. This one doesn't even have words. They even have pictures of babies on the back eating them because that's what they're meant for. You can make up your own words. These are fun for the car. Those are all the books I recommend for zero to six months that are actually engaging with the babies that you can adapt. And one last recommendation, if you're reading a book, hold the baby and read aloud. Honestly, it's the language development that they'll hear because to be honest, they're not looking at the books themselves. They're developing language by hearing you speak. Read aloud books that you want to read. It doesn't matter if they're looking at the pages or not. Stay tuned for the other ages as well. Remember, it is okay to make mistakes. The important part is to learn from them. God bless. Thank you.